Some people avoid meat because it involves killing animals. Other people love meat. They can't get enough. Here is a development that might make both sides happy. Reporter Wynn Rosenfeld has the story. I like meat. I eat it all the time. Pork chops, steaks. I love hamburger. You might not have thought about it, but that hamburger that he's about to put in his mouth, it's inefficient to produce. Because of all of the water, grains, chemicals, fertilizers, everything it took to turn grass into cows and cows into meat and get the meat to your house. That's a lot of energy and a lot of waste. And meat can make us sick. And we do have to kill billions of animals. Jason Matheny of the University of Maryland says he's got the answer. What we're doing here is cloning, effectively, the muscle cells from a farm animal. Cloning meat? That's right. Who's going to eat that? As long as it wasn't poisonous, I'd give it a try. If I can't tell the difference, of course I'll eat it. As long as it tastes the same. If you start out with a chicken cell, it should taste like chicken. Yeah, then again, doesn't everything? How about texture? Farm animals produce meat of a certain texture because they move around. We have to mimic those conditions in vitro. In vitro, meaning literally stretch the cells mechanically. Exercise cells in a lab? Okay, so the only question left is... Have you got a piece? Here it is. Cultured meat. Bon appétit. Bon appétit. Now, this piece was made by scientists at the University of Western Australia. NASA's been interested, and the Dutch government has invested five million dollars in cultured meat. Right now, you have to clone a cell and stretch it on a scaffold and feed it an expensive, nutritious soup. This makes each little bit very costly. What if I wanted a little more? If you wanted to pay a million dollars right now, we could get you a kilogram of beef. No thanks. I'll stick with this. For now. <laughs>